What's up? I hope you're having a great holiday weekend. Now, if you're anything like me, at some point in your life, you've searched for a do-it-yourself credit repair software system, right? To not only fix your credit, but to raise your credit score and to have everything work right out the box. However, I'm sure you already know that it's kind of difficult to find one that's not for commercial purposes, right? Meaning that you're supposed to have like clients and all this kind of crap. Well, today for Christmas or for the holidays, I'm launching the personal edition of Live Letter. Now, there's a major difference between my commercial version and the personal version, but guess what? Both of them come right out of the box for you to use. They have dispute letters, they have dispute reasons, and full automation built right into it. Now, all right, so we are over here in the CRM, and as you can see, it's asking for basic information. Your name, your address, your date of birth, your full social. When you fill it all out, it puts it over here in column C so that it can be moved over to your dispute letter. Really, really simple. Now, one of the cool things that I built into this is in column D, we have where you put your dispute letter date. So let's say back in October, I put um, 10-31-2021 and I never created another dispute letter. When I enter this date, it's actually going to show up orange and that's because it's telling me how overdue i am now if i come over to format and go to conditional formatting it actually tells me whether i'm 120 days late 90 days late 60 days late or if my new dispute round is coming up so each letter date that you add in here going down in column d where it says letter date it's going to tell you again whether it's coming up or you're late and this actually works great for you because hey guess what you and i have a lot going on sometimes maybe we forget that we didn't send out a dispute round. There's a lot of the times that I hear that clients just don't have time and that's why they need me to do it for them because they can't remember. So this is a great benefit to you so that you don't have to remember. The software tells you to do it yourself, okay? So now we have all of our information in here and I also show you how to automate this and that's why we have our monitoring site like Identity IQ, our username, password, and last four of our social on here. But that's for a different video after you sign up for this. All we do to create our dispute is go down to options down here at the bottom. And we're going to either choose to use our own dispute letter or to use a built-in letter. And there's a ton of them in here. So I'm just going to scroll down just a little bit. You're going to see that you can either check the box to use a custom letter over here where it's in orange, or we're going to use this drop down right here and we're going to choose from one of the built in dispute letter options. It's really, really simple and it also previews so you can see the full letter text. Now, if you do want to use your own custom letter, there's nothing wrong with that. You're going to check this box and then you come up to the formula bar up here under the ribbon and you're going to paste your letter. It's really as simple as that. You only have two options, custom or built in. Now we're actually going to use a built in dispute letter for this. Now I'm going to show you how to use regular automation, quick automation and custom dispute reasons, built in reasons and how quickly you can create a dispute letter. And I'm talking about in as little as three seconds. OK, so the very first thing I'm going to show you is just using a custom dispute reason. So for every type of account, we want to add a creditor name. So let's just type in American Express. We're going to put that account number. We're going to use something very simple. We're just going to do one, two, three, four, five. And obviously this would go faster if, you know, I wasn't doing a demo here. We're going to scroll over just a little bit and you're going to see that for every account, you're going to need to enter which bureaus are reporting it. Experian, Equifax, and TransUnion. And that'll determine what letters show up for you to print. Um, now, another awesome thing on here, just real quick as a side note, is you have all these X's. This will clear all the text in each column that you click an X for. So you don't have to go and click on clear, 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 because it does it for you. So let's go back and let's say that I want to use a custom dispute reason. So I would click on custom and then I would very simply type in my custom dispute reason. And let's just say belongs to my sister. Delete. Right? Pretty simple. And that's it. All we do is we go down to print and we make sure that our letter looks right. And that's about it. You print it. Okay. So we do not want to use a custom dispute for this next one. So let's get rid of this text. And we're actually going to use a built-in reason now. So 
For a built-in reason, you don't want to have custom checked. We're very simply going to go and click on the drop down where it says uh, reason. You're going to click on the drop down and it's going to give you 290 different dispute reasons that you can choose from. And they're all categorized. It's really, really simple. Late payments, collection, third party, debt buyer, um, bankruptcy, you name it. It's on there, including student loans. So as you can see, we just had the drop down pop up and this is moving a little bit slowly, very simply because I am recording my screen. So now I'm going to show you how to quick automate and use regular automation. All right. So we have our creditor name, our account number and the bureaus that are reporting. Right. So for regular automation, this is going to be like round one or even round two, three, four, five or six. Right. This is very simply choosing a dispute reason based on the type of account like charge off collection, late payment, the round like one, two, three, four, five, six and the version. Now, if you're asking about versions, why would I want different versions? Normally, that's if you have either multiple clients, which you wouldn't for a personal edition, or if you have multiple of the same type of accounts, like many charge offs or many late payments. So we're going to choose charge off one C because it's American Express and that's it. All we have to do is click on regular automation and our dispute letter is ready to go. We just go and we print. Now, let's say we're at round two, all right? We want to automate round two based off of round one. So we're actually going to uncheck, uh, excuse me, regular automation. We go over here to quick automate and that's it. You go and you print. Now, you may be asking, well, hey, you didn't change anything. So how is it just that you just go and print? Well, the cool thing about Quick Automate, and I love that I was able to create this. I haven't been able to create this with any other system before, is that it goes based on what you chose for the previous round. So that's why we didn't choose anything different for charge off 1C. We didn't go to 2D, 3E, you know, whatever. So the next dispute reason would actually be charge off 2C. If we had chosen charge off 1A, it would have chosen charge off 2A, so on and so forth. Same thing for late payments, collections, foreclosures, repossessions, all of that and a bag of chips. All right. So as you can see, this can save you a ton of time, a ton of money because it's a one time payment and it allows you to do all of this and fix your credit totally and completely yourself without having to do any of the guesswork. So we're going to come back here and just for demo purposes, I'm going to show you how to print and what all your letter would actually look like. So regular automation, we're going to leave it like that. We're going to come over and we're going to click down here. We're going to click on print. And the first thing that you're going to notice, well, maybe the second thing, because your personal information is going to be right here, is that today's date which is Christmas, is automatically in here. So this will update each and every day. So you do not have to do anything with having to enter in any sort of dates, okay? So our letter is here that we've chosen, our, dis our account and the automatic dispute reason, and this says, thank you, your name. So we have all three letters. All we do is click on the print icon and that's it. You go through the regular printing process. So as you can see, this is a very, very simple, seamless, complete and total custom solution for yourself that will work with any type of negative item that you could possibly have. Now, obviously this would um, actually say 1225 because today is 1225. Now on the next round, we're actually going to put a date down below in this next box and the, the color actually changed because I'm not late and the letter is not coming up. OK, so each time you write a new dispute reason, this is also a great way to track the disputes that you've already made because you'll know, hey, I sent one out on 1225. I sent one out on, you know, 128, so on and so forth. OK, now, another thing that I will be building in to version um, 1.1 or um, depending on whether it's a minor or a major, I will be adding in under the options tab the ability to choose whether an account is deleted so that you don't have to physically delete it and keep it for tracking purposes or it's still active and I'm just going to very simply have it or the account but have it remain on there so it doesn't show up on your actual dispute letter. So if this is something that you want to check out, then very simply head over to live letter, 
www.ask-kristen.com. It's a one-time payment and it also costs 50% less than the commercial version. Now, if you're wondering what the difference between the commercial is and the personal edition, the personal edition is for you and only you. You cannot process multiple clients on there. Um, if you wanted that and you wanted to do like your mom, your dad, your sister, your wife, and you know, a couple of friends, and you're going to be looking for the commercial version. If it's just you, then hey, this is going to be a great solution for you to be able to save time, save money, and get results. So head over to liveletter.ask-kristen.com, grab this, and I will see you tomorrow. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe.